Oh, he ain't picking a lane, he's all over the place. We run with a fast crowd, a tough crowd. More like a mob. 43 asphalt warriors. Guys with one motto. What goes around, comes around. Eye for an eye, fender for a fender. Paybacks are a promise. Races end, rivalries don't. You got a nice ride there. It'd be a shame if something were to happen to it. Careful who you mess with, because now the pack doesn't forget. NASCAR Thunder 2004 EA Sports. It's in the game. This is going to be one of the most stressful Sunday 500s I've ever run because if you guys know the history behind this throwback theme, you know how emotional it's going to get if I win it because it was almost three years ago, over three years ago actually, that uh, I was a moderator for Lumbar Bros Gaming and uh, if the Lumbar dad passed away, and tragic accident, and uh, I had done this scheme in NASCAR 2005 as a tribute to him with the number 34. Uh, the number 34 was driven by Lion Castle throughout his career. He's also driven by 83, so I find fitting that I could drive the 83 for Lion Castle today and for one of our dad, one of our bros gaming. I'm very excited, but also very humbled by the fact that I could do this once more. I raced Darlington once with this scheme. Finished fourth in that race. Could have done could have gotten the win, but this is gonna be very, very difficult for me. And uh, I just uh, there's no words to describe how much how much difficult it will be in this race for me. To drive this scheme once more. We're back when I did NASCAR Drive Five Let's Play uh, originally, like a, a regular season. I finished second in points to Jeff Gordon by three points. And now that I'm leading points here in this career mode, I want to win this race very badly. Not to mention that I could like get three crown jewel events this win a third crown jewel event this season because I've already won Kyle Dagan and Coca Cola 600, so this could be the third crown jewel race I win. So yeah, there's a lot riding in this race. The chassis is a bit worn from Bristol. The engine fresh after we had a shop after repairs or overhauls or whatever. And same with the body. A car is 77. And hopefully this car goes to victory lane once more. I won the four times in NASCAR 2005. Let's see if I can get one more. First lap 28 16, kind of messed up 3 and 4 there a little bit, but this. I did get a good rough car. We'll start towards the front. Whew, 2781, 6, alright. I did like a couple practice qualifying sessions, and the uh, best, best I got was like a fourth place starting spot, so we'll see. This will, That's a good start, so that's all that really matters. So much pressure. Joe Mar Barney Hall, take it away. here at the Great Southern Tradition, the annual Southern 500 here at the Darlington Raceway in Darlington, South Carolina. Every driver who comes here has one goal in mind. Don't add any paint to the wall. What makes Darlington so tough? Well, we'll see a lot of drivers run right up against the wall here all race long. That makes you fast, but it can also be very costly when you make even the slightest mistake. It always seems that Ryan Newman is starting up near the front of the pack. With nine front row starts in 2002, he's always a threat to get the pole. The 83 car will roll off at the start of this one, having won the last two races. That's got to be a great feeling. You know, people get so concerned with wins. Me, I'll take consistent top fives all year long over a win. Besides, when you're constantly finishing in the top five, a win is just around the corner. 
An impressive average finish record for Jeff Gordon. Yeah, and I'm sure he's in for another great ride. Of course, what else is new? When we're at these tracks, he always seems to have a great race. So much pressure to win this side of iron, but just say a good finish. Alright, didn't mean to smoke those tires in turn one, but okay, I can't quite. Hurry, right, Siler, you're not even supposed to be up here. Get out of the way. Alright, let's focus and dig deep. And let's hope to really, really run well this start by here. It's just so good in three and four field here, it feels like. It just has such a good bite off the corner.
It was tough just getting by one car. Oh my gosh. I don't even know if I can get there until I stir at this point, but I'm damn sure gonna try. But with everything I got. I didn't mean to let Junior go by, but yeah, I'm just kind of struggling now. I just, I don't know what it is, but I had some sort of issue with this car now. I'm just really, really, really trying to get a pin down to the bottom, and I couldn't do that in 3 and 4 there. Which is supposed to be my bread and butter now with this car, I don't know why. I had to try selling to buy one of these guys, it's ridiculous. How difficult it is to get by these guys. And I'm gonna get another one right here with Dale Jr. Ugh. If I could just get by these guys, I could like try to catch Stuart, but it's like he's so far ahead already, it's just ridiculous. I don't know if I can catch him at this rate. Stuart Mars is holding us all up at this point. Of course I get mad on Jimmy and then I just can't get a good run off the corner there. So stupid. Oh, Stewart's going up the road already. That's real early. So he's going to have real worn tires by the end of this race. This might be... This... This might not be a good move for him, honestly. I did get going with the strike, by the way, but man. For Stewart to pick that early, he's going to be on real worn tires by the end of this race. So that could play into our favor here near the end. Might stay up to lap 19 and see how that works out for us. Junior's going up the road now. Looks like some of the leaders are headed down pit road. Running on fumes, buddy. Alright, starting my down the road. I'm gonna take my five bonus points real quick and then head down the road and uh, come back around. God damn it. I didn't think it hit the wall for two there, but I did, and that's gonna make that's gonna cost me a lot of time if we're trying to get out the road here. Hey, f I lost so much time hitting the wall there for two. Damn it, that was bad. Stewart is way out there. I think I saw him on the track. That was ridiculous. I think I saw him as they're trying to go to the left sides on it, my picture was. So that's kind of ridiculous how far ahead he is. I beat Jimmy Johnson in turn three here is the question. No. Damn it. I almost did though. Hoping a little tire pressure adjustment does help a bit. Look how far low I'm going to on the track. That is kind of ridiculous how far down I'm going. And look how far Stewart head is, Stewart is right now. Like. He went pit early though, so he's gonna have like the most worn tires of anyone in his top 10, for sure. Oh, he ain't picking a lane, he's all over the place. Maybe if he would get out of the way, it'd be nice because I'm just. I'm just literally, I'm literally faster than him and I can't go anywhere because he's just not going to give me the spot. Fast, I pleaded, he don't give a I guess. He just doesn't want to hand me the spot. 
even though it's fast enough. Oh my god. Damn it, I missed the corner too. Ah! The problem is I'm trying to race him and not the track. Tried to, I tried to catch him again, I'm not racing the track like an idiot. God. Well, I was very cleanly past Ricky Rudd for the seventh spot, and that's all I'm gonna get. Man, that was not the. Jeez, that was bad, though. That was not the run I wanted, though. And Stewart still wins by like five seconds. It basically had like a straightaway lead on the rest of the field. That's ridiculous. The yellow flag didn't fly at all in this one. Well, that's good news for all these race teams because that can mean one thing, no major wrecks. The 83 car got a top 10 finish in this one. Of course, all these teams want to win every race, but a top 10 finish is still a great accomplishment at the racetrack. This has been NASCAR Winston Cup Racing, brought to you by EA Sports and MRN. Next up is Richmond. I tell you what, the car just did not respond like I wanted to after I hit the wall. That was uh, real annoying because then I was trying to drive that race against everyone else instead of the track. And the track is basically the toughest thing to race against in in uh, Darlington because I learned that first hand, but it's the best finish in Kuma at Darlington, so that's a, a plus. I guess you call it a plus. Anything but the primary sponsor, but we still gained the. Uh, Almost a million in uh, earnings. I just wish, uh, I just wish I could go back and do it again because I feel like I had a car that could run well and run up front. I just had a track fishing to do it. So, that was the biggest problem I had. Stewart led all but uh, five laps. I did lose one, so that gave me some bonus points. Stewart is my biggest competition in this uh, season at this point because he is uh, the only one in contention with me in points. Um, I don't know, I just, I had a tough, I had a tough run there, that was uh, a little frustrating, but at the same time, it's uh, just, you know, emotions are kicking in now again, just because I had uh, that much of a, of a problem with this car, but that's the way it goes sometimes. I am disappointed that I didn't, didn't get that win, but, uh, you know, I just, Sometimes it just doesn't go your way, and uh, it didn't. T it didn't today. Um, yeah. Let's. Uh, I guess we'll just start for two races. It's not the. It's not the best. I have. I can't wait for the other chassis to come in after it's built. Just uh, so we have some the best things we have possible. How much longer for the next uh, stop station comes in? One more race, the engine guy. Cool. And then we can have new engine from start. So that'll be. That would be great to have. Um, anything else is just kind of have to wait for stuff to be repaired and whatnot. Oh, man. I tell you what, my, my arms are sore because uh, I didn't race the track because I was trying to race everyone else and it didn't work. Oops, wrong spot. Uh, still got 106 on point we have Stewart. And everyone else is almost four hour or more back, so that's a uh, it's a positive to know that I'm still up in points and everything. Ricky Rod and Jane Johnson are a little upset at me, but they won't let me go by them, and I had a faster car, so that was their problem. I just I have so I have so much uh, respect for. Lombard's Lombard game, even though they're located okay in Georgia now, it's uh, it's good to know that uh, I was able to do something special for them back in 2017 and again for today. 
It's something else, I tell you what. I, uh, I definitely had a good time. I th and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Ring bell for notifications to make a new kind of channel where it's more natural than 2004 career mode or anything else otherwise. Follow me on Instagram for updates. I love doing this. Hope you guys enjoy watching. Do what I love. And I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.